Welcome to Fun Electronics today and in this episode I want to show you how I built this beauty. It's a jar clock immersed in synthetic oil. I wanted to recreate one of my oldest projects from several years ago when I built a similar clock. Only this time I wanted to apply a different technique and to come up with a better design. This clock is intended to scroll through a series of romantic messages and will display one message every hour. I call it the cookie jar clock of passion and I want it to be an anniversary gift for my wife as we're turning 10 years of marriage this year. In 2012 I created this. It was a clock immersed in red transmission oil. In the past years I learned a lot about hardware design and I wanted to redesign this clock. It all started with the schematic. I used deep trays for both the schematic and the layout. Once the layout is completed, I export everything into Gearburst and I send the files away to a PCB manufacturer. In 2012, when I created my previous jar clock, I etched my own PCBs, but now I wanted to take it to the next level. So I contacted PCBWay.com for helping me with the PCBs and they are the official sponsors of this video. They can ship worldwide and they even delivered to my temporary location in Papua New Guinea. The communication with them was great and their PCBs are state of the art. Once I received the PCBs through mail, I started assembling everything together. I 3D printed some spring supports to hold the PCB in place inside the jar. Then I wrote the C++ code into IAR embedded workbench. For this version of the clock I didn't want to drill a hole into the jar for the wires. I did this before and when I was happy that I managed to seal everything with silicone and I thought it didn't leak, I realized that the oil was actually leaking through the core of the stranded wire into the power brick that was under the desk. So I'm not going to do this anymore. For this iteration I will just pass two thin coil varnished wires between the lead and the gasket.
I added some marbles for effect. When everything was ready I filled the jar with transparent baby oil. This oil is an insulator and it will not short circuit anything. The result is dashing and I am very pleased with how it came out.